Welcome, memers and dreamers alike, to Sick Time, a new special, brand new episode of Meme Time, sponsored by the sickness that's invaded my head. You're gonna have to smash like on this video, or you're gonna get the sickness too. That's how it works, I don't make up the rules, I'm sorry. No, you don't need to see what the actual content is first, that's not how YouTube works. It's sick time, it's sick time, gather all your friends, it's sick time, it's sick time, it's sick time. The only cure for sickness. Me when Jack asked me to promise. Jack, promise to not get scared. Me at home. Okay, I promise. <laughs> what is this face? What filter is that? Yeah, somebody points out Sid the Sloth that you- I look like Sid from Ice Age. Sure thing, Mr. Jacepticeye. I promise not to get scared, uh -oh. I fucking hate everything I just did. You know what happens when you break a promise to Jacksepticeye? He breaks your legs. Me and the elves at 2 a.m. looking for memes. That's right, elves. You better be out there curating the best possible memes for Jacksepticeye's variety channel on Meme Time, sponsored by Sickness. Because if you're not getting good memes from me, if you're not posting good memes, then all of this is pointless. All of this is, it turns to shit. Then none of us have anything and none of us win. Sean uploaded the Chase video to his Instagram TV and part of the caption is Chase can live here too, so here. Poor Chase. <laughs> oh, this is really damn good. Holy crap. The detail is nuts. I have seen Zivil's art online already, but just I'm blown away every time. It's incredible. You really captured the emotion in that scene. Thank you, Zivils, for your wonderful art. And thank you to anybody who makes art. As I always say, your art is wonderful! Keep posting it! Now that Jack isn't Jackaboy anymore, do you think he is now Jack Adult? Are these the memes that you're up at 2 a.m. getting? Come on, elves. You're better than this. This is like getting coal in your stocking. I am always going to be Jackaboy. Now, always, forever. And that's a fact. <laughs> when my mom ties my hair, when I tie my hair. <laughs> Can you believe this is the same person? Can you believe that is the same boy in both pictures? Man, I missed the long hair. I, I cut it all off and now it's really, really short. But I miss being able to just tie it up. It looks so cool! But I don't have to go through that again. I don't want to have that like four month period where it doesn't look like anything. They look like someone just made a character in Dark Souls and tried to pick the worst options for hair that they could. I don't want to look like that. Unless I'm able to like go away for six months and no one's able to see me. And I hide in a hole in my house and no one comes by and no one knows what I look like. And then I just emerge from my chrysalis as a beautiful butterfly with my long flowing locks. But in between, uh oh, no, stinky. My son and his amazing portrait of Jack. Wow! That's really good! Holy shit! Oh, thank you so much, Aaron Bunyan. Bunyan? I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Tell your son that I said thank you very, very much. That's an incredible piece of bead art. Also, your son and Mark look the exact same when they were that age. That is a striking similarity. Oh. <laughs> oh god, there's more of them. Give Jack a second, he's processing something. Always. I'm always processing something. The world is running at like 144 FPS, you know, perfectly synced at 144 hertz, maybe even 240. Whatever you're feeling, gamers, you know, just gamer talk out here. Meanwhile, I'm running at 24 FPS being like, what, what's happening? The world is moving and I'm moving with it. Just a lot slower. Me trying to remember the name of that orange cat from Garfield. <laughs> Me trying to remember what Obama's last name is. <laughs> <laughs> These are great. So sometimes you need a second to just process what's really going on. I play a lot of stuff, I see a lot of shit, and my brain's stinky. <laughs> That's a combination for perfect memes. Me exists for 0, 0.0 whatever seconds. My grandparents, you're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> That's very, very cute. Is this what it's like when you guys watch my videos? Is that is that what you look like? Just looking on your phone like, aw, so funny and awesome and best YouTuber. Please. I hope that's what you're like. Please. If I'm not the best, then the worst. My father, whenever I went to stage to get an award, well done. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> Somebody should change it to, you're doing great, sweaty. Jack, how dare you compare me to a chipmunk? Also, Jack. <laughs> ah, the duality of man. How you can go from one walking piece of sex appeal to something that should have been crushed underfoot. Yeah, I just like to keep you guys on your toes. 
can't have it all one way all the time it gets boring you know sometimes i just gotta gotta take it down a notch except 99 percent of the time i'm usually this one instead of anything else and this whole episode is just me talking about how great i am it's all a front i swear really deep down inside i'm broken insecure sad also sick and not in the good way, like, sick! Just sick, as in, like, please bring me noodle soup. Me waiting to see if there's something after Jack's up the guy's after all. <laughs> That's a good one! <laughs> Did you guys know that? That there's a secret outro every time? Those of you who leave when you hear, like, well, we're gonna leave that episode there. There's more! Not only does the outro play where you can click on stuff to see more of videos from the Jacks of the Guy Variety channel. Please fucking click those, it's a pain in the ass to put them in every time. But also there's a secret bonus outro every time. A little clip to just like keep you guys around and let you know, hey, those of you who stay around to the very end, I see you. You a real one. I got rid of them for a while because I didn't think that they were adding anything and then everyone was like, How dare you! Where did they go? So, they'll live on forever, I guess. What will be the one in today's video? I don't know. Usually I never know. It just happens at the end and then I'm like, fucking stroke of genius. A lot of them revolve around me saying that I'm either too hot or too hungry. <laughs> Went to fuck your mom, line was too long. <laughs> classic. What a classic meme. Also, got him? What a wondrous meme. So versatile. <laughs> the big sad. What the hell are you? Meme time. Yeah. <laughs> the big- the, the big sad sad meme time. Wait, what is this from? Is this a Terminator comic where he's coming to kill a little girl? That's horrifying. Well, if it's meme time and the big sad, then it's fine. It's perfectly good. It's just a regular old good old chuckle of fun meme. But <laughs> the actual context behind his original <laughs> picture is really sad. One might even say the big sad sad. Yeah, I'm gonna catch myself before all you fuckers in the comments are like, Jack didn't even realize that he said what was in it. Like the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure thing all over again. Uh-uh. Never again. I ain't looking foolish on the internet. Not even once. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Associate producer. Oh, it hurts. It hurts me physically to look at the name spelled that way. Sean McLaughlin! No! How dare you! It's pronounced the same as Sean McLaughlin, but this is a butchered bastardization of it. Never has the Irish ever been more insulted! Potato famine? Nah! 800 years of British rule and oppression? Never! No! This? This is the price you pay! Also, Batman Beyond? Kind of sick, though. Honestly, I used to watch Batman Beyond when I was a kid, and it holds up today. It's fucking awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. <laughs> why are there not more memes like this? I want to see, like, General Grievous go at it in Beat Saber. <laughs> Maybe that's why Jedi are so good. Maybe that's why Anakin was so good at killing the younglings. Because he just imagined that it was Beat Saber. There's a next level to this, alright? Time to put on your fucking Amazo glasses, alright? The blue and the red are both of Anakin's lightsabers. All right, when he turned into Darth Vader, spoiler alert, Anakin Skywalker, kind of a piece of shit. But he brought balance to the Force in the end. Or did he? No, he didn't, because Rise of Skywalker completely fucking retconned everything and made a mockery of the entire original trilogy. But he had a red lightsaber later on, and now he has a blue one, and it's the dark side versus the light side. It's the duality. Also, the amount of reds versus blues are perfectly balanced in this. And that's why he was able to kill the youngling so well, because it was just Beat Saber, bro. Oh my god, that's epic. Lo-fi hip-hop beats to kill younglings, too. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, please tell me there's fan art of that somewhere of Anakin sitting down at a laptop with his cat in the background. Yes. It's meme time. No, I didn't do that. It was like that when I got there. Oh, you cheeky bugger. I also like at the top, it says, duh. The meme. What does PFJE mean though? Pzz Pzz it's the sound I make when I go to speak and I hiccup burp at the same time. Pzz <laughs> Which literally just happened. Jack, I bet people are just gonna make fun of me on my subreddit, us posting <laughs> genuinely wholesome memes. Jack, mug of confusion. <laughs> Where is it? 
All I see is people making fun of me. <laughs> Actually, people draw lots of really nice fan art of me all the time, and it's very, very wholesome, so thank you. I also love this picture, the mug of confusion. <laughs> What a- another very versatile meme here on the Jacksepticeye Variety Channel. So diverse, so inclusive of everybody's meme needs. Honestly, Jack's channel is the perfect blend of aggressiveness, wholesomeness, happiness, sentimentality, and above all, <laughs> laughs! That's really sweet. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you to say. We do it all here, everybody. There's some times when you're like, Jack, what the fuck are you doing? Why am I here? And even subscribe with the notification bell on. None of us even know. And then other times you're like, Oh, <laughs> when you blow on ice cream to cool it down. <laughs> okay, technically, you blow on food to make it an edible temperature. When you blow on ice cream, it melts a little because your breath is hotter than the ice cream. So you are blowing on it to get it to a state that's easier to lick. Big brain or a stinky brain? I don't know. You decide down in the comments below. It's stinky, isn't it? Yeah. Don't tell me people actually do that. Don't tell me you actually blow on your ice cream because you thought it would cool it down so you could eat it. Come on. No. No, don't say yes. I know some of you are thinking- some of you are that Jacksepticeye confused, uh, like, thinking meme right now. I- no. I refuse to believe there's anybody watching this video on this channel right now who actually do that. <laughs> Damn leprechauns and their turf wars. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is even going on in this picture? This looks like before the ground explodes and the aliens come out of it and kill us all. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is photoshopped or edited? Because that doesn't make any sense otherwise. Nah, that's a leprechaun concert. A lepre concert. <laughs> God, sometimes the comments are even better than the memes. Leprechaun Battle Royale has officially been leaked. That would be a fucking great idea for a game. Leprechaun Battle Royale? The person who wins gets the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? And you all write a rainbow down on all the streams of light? Oh my god, call up the game developers! I have an idea! I did my homework, but who is who? Holy crap. <laughs> there are more! Jesus Christ! Why did you just post a lot of pictures of Jacksepticeye, though? Oh, Chase is in it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see him. <laughs> Where is this fucking Kermit from? Uh, I would like to sing a song. Uh, it's called, uh, Miss Piggy, I Love You. Normally that impression is much better, but my nose is all bunged up. Being sick? Now that's the ultimate stink. <laughs> Me, my meme getting featured in meme time. You did it! You made it! <laughs> well done! It's one of those things that you get an award, and you feel really good about it, that you've made it, you're in meme time, top of the food chain. But then the more you think about it, you realize that there's nothing actually on the award. It's a toy award. You saw it at, like, Target, and then holding it doesn't actually give you anything, and putting it on your mantelpiece doesn't really impress anybody. So really getting your meme in meme time kind of means nothing, but it's the deep inner peace that you feel. It's like striving to climb that ladder and then finally reaching the top of the ladder and realizing there's nothing but flat land up there. You're glad you did it, but was it worth it? I mean, please keep posting your memes in the subreddit. It's the highest honor anybody can get. Please, I need the content for the video. <laughs> Jack's hitman, some poor guy who farted. <laughs> They're referring, of course, to the exceptional episode of BitLife that I just uploaded. If you haven't seen it, it's there. Go watch it. But I kept hiring a hitman to kill all my co-workers. I was sick of playing the game straight, so I just started hiring a hitman to do anything, and some guy farted as he walked by me. So, hired a hitman, kinda killed him. Got away with it. I think I'm justified. If you walk by me and you let out a squeaker right then, you could have done it down there, although the trail would follow you. At least wait until you're past me or something. But if you squeak right as you pass, my hitman fingers are doing a heckin' tingle! Huh, interesting. I didn't know you hated living that much. If Sean sees this, he has to do this in the thumbnail. Nobody, YouTubers in their thumbnails. <laughs> I made this joke already on Twitter. Literally, word for word, no one YouTubers in their thumbnails. I already did the face. Now, granted, this is not the biggest brain of tweets or the most original of ideas, but I was bored on a train in the Netherlands. So, vis-a-vis -vis me. Should I do, a, do the face just for this video? Perfect, wow. That really is what it's like though. You have to make a thumbnail and <laughs> okay, don't hate the players, hate the game. That shit works. Putting your face like that 
Sometimes obnoxiously in a thumbnail actually really works. I don't know why. People just love to click on faces, especially surprised ones. Look how many times there are on YouTube with people going, it works. So these days I've actually been trying to grab my reactions from the videos. It's not the highest quality image. And sometimes there isn't always one, so I have to like recreate something. But I'm, I always try and grab my actual reaction from a game or from like the funniest home videos. Like me actually laughing at the stuff that's happening. Because, I don't know, I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. When someone farts at you and you kill him as revenge. <laughs> Mind size, mega. Also, this looks like a perfect YouTube thumbnail. Right, this already. Just the person, up close, expression, thing on the side, relevant to whatever's going on in video. That's it. That's the secret to YouTube thumbnails. That's all they are. A while ago, you could get a lot more diverse with your thumbnails, but now YouTube's algorithm seems to really heavily favor thing and thing. It's making thumbnails so boring, <laughs> but <laughs> to get into the system, you kind of have to play the game a small bit. Sucks. Optical illusions are wild. Close one eye, tilt your phone back, and look at the screen from the charging hole. Well, I can't do that. It's a desktop. What am I? Tilt the whole monitor back. It'll break it. What does it say? I don't know. Hold on a minute. You're doing great and I'm glad you exist. Oh, that's way more wholesome. I thought it was going to be like, you suck or stinky. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm tired and I'm sick and the... The jokes are just not coming yet, all right? Normally I'm at like fucking full steam sense of humor, but right now I am struggling to put coal in that fire. The evolution of the Gaelic gladiator. Longer hair, center part, what? Hairpin, all back, too long, bun. <laughs> Wait, I feel like I haven't been half of these. This is kind of what it is right now. Not exactly, but close enough. Too long. I have never had hair that long. My hair does not grow like that. But the bun! It looks so cool! God, the green bun too. I haven't had green hair in years. Also, is this your art? Did you draw this? Or did you steal it? I'm not sure. Might be stinky. Art credit where art credit's due. Please don't steal each other's pictures and upload them. If you did draw this, awesome. If you didn't, <laughs> my fucking hitman fingers are tingling! That kid is gonna have a wonderful life. Shh. I told her it was Mozart. <laughs> It's the meme time intro for an hour. That kid's gonna come out all sorts of fucked up, but they're gonna be a champion. They're gonna speak the language of the gods. They're gonna make TikToks. They're gonna do everything right in life. Has anybody named their kid TikTok yet? You think somebody did it as a meme legally calling their child TikTok? God, I hope not. When you pick another video on YouTube and see your reflection. <laughs> Honestly, that's why I made that tweet. I <laughs> I came down to grab something and I was like, oh shit, my coffee's getting cold. And I took a swig of it and I could see my own reflection in the coffee because <laughs> the coffee was just jet black. So I was like, that's a good meme. And I took a picture with my phone and then realized, wait, the iPhone 11 has a wide angle lens. So I turned it around and just started taking as many pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and then you ended up with this. Meme science. So technically, you're not that far off. Same energy. Oh god. <laughs> this fish has been going around a lot lately, and I don't know where the origin of the meme is. I've just seen people at the very tail end of it saying that the meme is dead. So this is one of the first memes that I haven't actually seen go mainstream and already be dead. Is that what's happening to memes now? Is that they don't even get out the gate? They're already dead before they even arrive? But yes, you figured me out. Jacksepticeye is actually just a fish in a human body operating the controls. I, some of you will not be uh, surprised by that considering my memory span and attention span. You want a baby Jacksepticeye? I'll give you baby Jacksepticeye. Oh, sweet mother of God. Oh, that feels like forever ago. This is a, a YouTube, oh yeah, it says it there, Irish Creators Day. They had a thing going on in Dublin and they invited a, a bunch of us up. And some people came and sat in the audience and heard us talk about YouTube. I think I was at like 6 million subscribers by then? Or 3 million, something like that. And I was already the most subscribed channel in Ireland. And everybody wanted to know how. They wanted to know why, who, when, where. I had no answers. I just sat there and everyone was like, what, what did you do? How did you do it? I was like, I know, I, I liked things and I laughed at them and swore a lot. <laughs> Pretty much. Also, good man, Dahibai. 
And there's a young Nogla as well. I think this was, I think this was 2015 that I did this. And it was really awkward and I had no idea what I was doing. And I did an interview with the national news. And then everyone was messaging me afterwards about it. And it was a great day. But that was one of the first on stage talking about myself and YouTube things that I did. So I was incredibly nervous. We were sitting in the audience for most of it. And then we had to come down and actually talk. And I didn't know what to say. And lastly, in case you didn't see already, accept the guy you choose, everybody! Yes, we finally did it! I think it looks great. I think it's very, very cute. It actually looks like me. It's just good old Jacksept the guy holding up a Sam. I really like the box too that they made, a little potato. There's also a uh, nice message on the back of it that you're gonna have to wait until it's actually out and you get it yourself to be able to see. So that's gonna be launching on St. Patrick's Day. So keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be an uproarious time. I'm very, very excited about it. I've wanted to do a YouTube for a really long time. So many other people were doing them that I'm very glad to be part of the family. So if you wanna cop yourself one of those, then I'll have more details closer to when it's actually coming out. And maybe we'll even do some giveaways or stuff. It's gonna be great. Also, there's a brand new collection of merch on jacksepticeye.com. We're doing the Irish St. Paddy's Day PMA stuff. A nice old clover with the PMA on it. We got some beanies. We got a hoodie. We got a shirt. And we got some socks. Or as I like to call them, not shamrocks. Sham socks. So if you want to get those as well, and really get the green so you don't get pinched on St. Patrick's Day. Also, remember, it's Paddy, not Patty. I'll fucking kill someone. I get very murderous when I get upset. That's... That's not good. But yeah, if you want to get that, jacksepticeye.com, new merch, it's whatever. That does the merch plug for the video. And also, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope that you chuckled in your belly. I hope that that sadness was staved off for another like 20 30 minutes today and i hope that you had a good time but that's going to be it for me you sweet baby mimi dreamers and i am just going to have to disappear now forever and always stay tuned for the secret bonus outro clip <laughs>